Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be talking about focus groups. Let's get started. So focus groups are a group of individuals selected and assembled by researchers to discuss and comment on, from personal experience, the topic that is the subject of research. In a focus group, the researcher acts as a mediator between the question and the group and between the individual members of the group. Depending on their level of involvement in the topic, this can be a rather difficult role. Focus groups are becoming increasingly popular in qualitative research as a means of gathering data from a number of sources at the same time. A focus group allows a variety of perspectives and explanations to be obtained from a single data gathering session. You must remain in control of the situation and ensure that your research group goals are achieved. You may be confronted with a number of strong characters and you must stay focused to keep the session on track. Focus groups can be used at any point in the research design. As the data collection process uh, progresses, uh, focus groups can be used to explore issues more in depth. The purpose of focus groups is to enable a range of perceptions, feelings, and attitudes from participants across a range of issues to be explored. Allow for a wide range of views, beliefs, and perceptions to be generated in a single data collection exercise. It is appropriate to apply this technique uh, in research when, one, obtaining background information about a topic of interest, two, generating research hypotheses that can be submitted to further research and testing using more quantitative approaches. Three, stimulating new ideas and creative concepts. Four, diagnosing the potential for problems with a new program, service, or product. Five, generating impressions of products, programs, services, institutions, or other objects of interest. Six, learning how respondents talk about the phenomenon of interest, which may facilitate quantitative research tools. 7. Interpreting previously obtained qualitative results. Organizing a focus group. The process of organizing and running a focus group should follow a basic design. Identify your participants. Select and book a location. Prepare and send out an invitation which includes a description of the purpose of the focus group and who you are. A brief synopsis of the topic for discussion. Logistics such as date, time, and expected duration and location, and any ethical considerations. Prepare a room in such a way that participants can see and hear each other, and you have an appropriate place in the setting. Consider what equipment you will need. Make sure you have a recording device that is, and also as backups as necessary. Make sure that you have a flip chart and pens and paper to allow note taking a briefing sheet, and a disclaimer. Prepare a briefing sheet for yourself. This may not necessarily be a list of questions. It may be the issues you would like to cover, but what is must be is the document that clearly sets out your own research goals. Open the discussion with a brief introduction. You may want participants to introduce themselves at this point in time. Open up the discussion, then begin the moderating process. Using questions that include words such as how, why, under what conditions, and similar probes uh, suggest to respondents that the researcher is interested in the complexity and facilitating discussion. Make sure to keep the discussion on track. Probe for more details when it is appropriate. Do not be tempted to jump into the silence. Try to say as little as possible. Thank everyone when the discussion is over, and if they are involved in another element of the research, take this opportunity to remind them of the next stage. There is no room for your emotions when you are a moderator. You can always turn a difference of opinion into a topic for discussion. Never appear to be taking sides in the discussion. Encourage a free-flowing discussion by asking the group to write down their ideas on an issue. When they have uh, been given time to do this, ask them to read out what they've written out loud. It would help if you could note this down on a chart or board for everyone to see. Once all responses have been given, you could then ask your participants to write down any other ideas they have based on the other contributions that they have heard. Use these responses to open the discussion. The first most distinct 
difference with, between online focus groups is the choice between synchronous and asynchronous interaction. Many researchers argue that asynchronous option turns a technique into somewhat something other than a focus group. At one of the major reasons for holding a focus group is immediate interaction. If the conversation is not happening in real time, then it could be argued that the stimulus provided by interaction is lost. Another issue is to consider with online focus groups is the nature of your research population. If there is sufficient evidence to suggest that the participants would feel confident and comfortable in a virtual environment, then this could be a viable option. You would have to be very sure that the members of your population were not at a disadvantage because they were uncomfortable communicating in a virtual space or they lacked the skills necessary to actively participate in the conversation. Where is the real debate about the nature of a focus group lies in the purpose of the technique. Interaction is essential. It is possible to is it possible to encourage the same level of interaction online? There is a lack of visual cues online and a great deal of interaction depending on the use of visual cues. It is much easier to talk or type in parallel online than it is to face to face. This makes it difficult for the moderator to follow the flow of the discussion. People are less likely to be intimidated by other focus group members online than if they meet in person. So the need to ensure everyone has their say may be less of a burden to the moderator. Transcripts of the focus group are available immediately online without the need for a moderator or participants to take notes. Online focus groups potentially offer access to a more geographically dispersed population, but this is still restricted to those able and willing to utilize the online environment. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.